Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the three hours. I said I won't do any more of these in terms of responding to talk sport. But again, when Andy or you know any of you guys tag me on these sort of things, you know, it's current affairs out there and it's just a bit of fun. Um listen, I we take it with a pinch of salt anytime they come out and say anything. But Jim White has been at it again. And this is the clip from yesterday's show. This will be. So here we go. Let's listen to it and then we'll give our views on it. Fans do get caught up, don't they, in the amount of money that the clubs spend uh, rather than the quality they purchase. And I do, I, I know you in the past, you, you, you've, you and I, I'm no, I, I'm no mouthpiece for Gordon Sullivan. And I stress that. I really do mean that. But here you've got to salute what they've done. There was an outcry when Dean Ghana was sold for 18 million yep. quid to, to, to West Brom. Um, they got some money for Haller, but he was a monumental flop. Yep. So, so they brought in 20 million plus for him. But there was an outcry as well when Kufal was bought for 5 million. Yep. And I remember looking at the messages that came in with West Ham fans saying, what do you get for 5 million? What do you get for 5 million? This will prove interesting. Vladimir Kufal has been a revelation. Yep. In, in a West Ham yeah. shirt. Sir Cech, oh, I mean, there's nothing more to be said about him. He's been sensational. Fans do get caught up too much, in my belief, on, on no numbers, offense. the no amounts offense. of money. So, he basically, the interview's a little bit longer than that because basically the conversation they was having was about West Ham Champions League and the amount of money Chelsea spent compared to the amount of money West Ham spent. Uh, obviously, Chelsea spent a ridiculous amount of money, 200, nearly 300 million. And they were saying about how West Ham had spent something, I don't know, 10 million or whatever, 25 million. And Simon Jordan, to his credit, was saying, I would love West Ham to get there. It would be really, really good. Not because I like Golden Sullivan, but purely just it would be good for football. Jim White was trying to defend the fact that we've not spent any money. Again, this is not credit to where we are to them. They was hoping to be on 42 points, what we're on now, by the end of the season. No way did they think we'll get so check in, permanent, gone by Sue Fowl, and we would have the season we've had. There's no way, and there's no, I'm not giving that board any credit. I will give, as I keep saying, the players credit, the coaching staff credit. You can't sit there. Where were these people, Jim, that you say were moaning when Superfire was brought in? No one moaned. We needed right back cover. And we said, OK, five million if it works out. Good. We may have been saying that, yeah, we would have liked to have seen this go a little bit more. But it has worked out. And, and credit where it's due to Solchek, who scouted him. Not David Sullivan and not David Boyes, even. Um, subject, yes, revelation. We, I don't know who scared him, whether that was Moyes or Sullivan. Who knows? And uh, if it was Sullivan, credit to him for doing it. But, you know, the Grady Diagana one, okay, yes, he was sold. We bought him Ben Rama. He looks good. Grady, again, he's in a poor team. Who knows with him? But that doesn't mean that we say, they don't put the facts in terms of assessing what actually happened in the summer. For the whole summer, David Boyes wanted Tarkovsky for 30 million. Forget the price tag. OK, forget the price tag. Even if he wanted anyone, anyone, OK, any defender, it didn't, wasn't the player that he, we wanted. Um, and then... Right at the end of the window, we sell Diagana for 12 million or whatever it was. And then we bought him Ben Rama for 25 million. It, it just, you know, it, it's that. That's what I mean. He, he left him short. It's not about how much money you spend. It's the positions we needed and what David Moises wanted at the time. And luckily, Moises, you know, moulded that team and it seems to have worked out. But you can't give them credit for that team and what it's been doing this season. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like I say, I know it's clickbait and I know they do it to get a reaction out of us and it creates more calls for them, more traffic on Twitter. But listen, please, guys, give it some context. Seriously, it's, it's getting ridiculous. Like the way, the amount of effort they will put in to defend Gold, Sullivan and Brady is 
<laughs> ridiculous. It really, really is. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about that interview. And if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask for me to pick videos on, it is my absolute pleasure to do it for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Race the 4K is on. We're really, really close now. I can't wait to get that milestone. Until next time, guys, come on your minds. Keep believing.